Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Raxor video. So in the last video, we did loot from 100 Raxor, which was basically day one upload. But in this video, we want to do a lot more. We're starting on obviously KC100 with the only drop being the Coagulated Venom, which is a transmog for a pet. But obviously our goal is to get some of the uniques and maybe even green lock this thing eventually. Anyways, so yeah, we're just gonna go right back and I'll be showing you some of the good drops that we get. The first skill, worth showing. No, everybody thought I would get the KC on 101, but we go back. Just a supply drop there. Six Venom X Sharks. Wait, I know what I could do. I could just price check every trip instead of... Because I don't have looting thingy yet. First trip, 473k from seven kills. 100 raw sharks. I think that's the first time I'm getting that drop. 780k, maybe even more because these teleports go for around 50 to 100k right now. 100k, had to TP out because somebody was at the door. That's a new one, mud runes. I've never gotten that. Hey, okay, last kill of the trip, 129kc. I mean, I guess I could do one more, but my blood shards are basically out, so we're gonna bank here. 200k only from this trip, and now I no longer have blood shards, so I'm seriously contemplating just camping torture or even buying the upgrade for the torture. Uh, because blood shards are ridiculously expensive right now, above 16 million per blood shard. Okay, one blood shard down, but we get to use another one. Combine it, there we go, should be easier again now. 260k and an elite clue scroll, we are now up to 138 kill count. Every time I do bosses like this, I feel like on every time I click the chest, I feel like, yeah, this is the one I'm gonna get a pet. I don't know why. 460k. Over 150kc and there is 305k extra loot up to 161kc and this is extra 388k. I'm starting to think five prayer pods is the way to go, by the way, because I always bank with food left over, always. 400k up to 167kc. Another trip for 400k, three teleports and an elite clue scroll. I have five elite clues on the floor right now. I need to actually do those at some point. 350k with three teleports and all the way up to 187 kill count. 456k and we're nearly 200 kill count. And here is a big 200. We still got 36 on the task, maybe a couple of more with the bracelets. But the goal is to do this boss for quite a little while longer. 100k, 457k, up to 211 kill count. 302k, but these are still selling for 70k each. 607k, 506k with 3 teleports, so 650k honestly probably. It's been a bit over a day since the release, so it is time for another spider cave teleport roulette. Let's take a look how much this sell for nowadays. The price is still over 50k per teleport, so still pretty decent. Yeah, so let's see. Do I know how to do it? So there it hit itself. Then I can move, step under. It will hit itself. Step under. It will hit itself. Dude, I got the moves down. Low, low key on the down low. That was pretty good. Double rune kyder. Last kill of the task, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. We've done a full task of this. Beautiful. Task is completed. It's been a good one and we've gotten a lot of XP in the process. Let's take a look. So starting on 3126 points. Let's see how long it takes. Oh man, how common are greaters? Let's see. Greater demons are a nine. I don't think it's block worthy. I think block worthy lizard. I mean, hmm. Actually, I only have nines left. Uh, spirituals are a seven. So realistically, spirituals should be what I would get rid of. Fire Giants are the 7 as well. But I think right now I'll just cancel these, honestly. Smoke Devils. Ooh, how often are those, actually? They are a 9 as well. But these are a nice task, usually. Black Dragons. Call Fights. Black Dragons. Craters. Blood Welts. Black Dragons. So many Black Dragons. Ew! Nice! We used almost no points, by the way. Almost no points. Look. 209 bonus and we still have 2856 points to go that is very lucky uh let's go ahead and do another full day of a rack side how did you make the boss hit itself during the enrage phase if you step right onto this tile when he does the attack it will damage itself look i'll try to demonstrate it here see 
31 damage to itself. Oh, 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 that is the first time I get five rune to hand swords noted. And I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that that's a very rare drop here. Because it's the first time I see it in 254kc. I would assume it's probably the similar role to some of the uniques. Just like a straight up assumption, I don't know the drop rates yet. But this is the first time I see this drop, so that's what I assume. Hey, Bloodshard bot, easy. Step under explosion, boom, hit yourself, and it killed itself. I could see that being a Grandmaster task, by the way. Make an Araxor kill itself with like the less hit, what I basically just did. I could see that be a thing. 581k with 6k of teleport, so just assume like 300k on top of that. 800k trip, we're definitely getting better. KC is up to 260. Oh, I got the rune two-hander again. That's the second time I got it in like two kills though. What's my read on GP per hour here? I lose money because I use blood shard. And I think most people are gonna be using blood shard. So it's a money loss until you're uniques basically. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, no, 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 it's the worst shit. 275kc, I got the head, man. I'm not even happy, man. I was happy for like a millisecond because it was not a rune kai shield drop. And then it's literally the worst possible drop, man. Ah, pain and suffering, man. It's okay. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. We'll, we'll get something else, I'm sure, anytime soon now. Okay, what a trip. I got so many supply drops, but I don't have enough venom to stay. Got an Araxide head, so at least we have something, even though it's basically nothing, it's just a cosmetic. But we get 872k from this trip, I think the prices of these are a bit skewed though, so let's just say 600k from that trip alone. 271k, 285 kills in. Oh no 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 no, Dragonstone. That is the first Dragonstone in 291kc, I guarantee you this is rare. It is an absolute disaster man. Aye, aye, aye. All right, well, let's keep on going. Damn, that stings a bit. Okay. 297. Wiki says Dragonstone is very rare. Lovely. Amazing. 473k and we're almost at 300 kills. We're now at 300 racks or KC. Honestly, I enjoy this boss a lot. So I can see myself either staying here until I fully green log it or at least until I get the pet. I can see myself uh, actually pet hunting this. Another 520k with a few Araxide Venom sacks and we're now over 300kc as well. It is that time of the year where we should probably charge our scythe. The cost of full charge at the moment is a little bit expensive because the vials of blood are 18,000 each right now. So a bit more expensive than 13k. 214k with 3 teleports and 12 venom sacks, so more like 350k. Yes! Yes, man! Finally I got something! Okay, Noxious Blade. 321kc it took us to see something. I'm gonna assume this is one of the three pieces for the halberd, right? I mean, I would assume. Oh man, okay, at least we got something. Nice, very nice. I'm so happy I got this. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, so now this is starting to look a little bit better. Items exist, I'm happy. And 66k to go alongside the blade. A little update on the loot tab situation. Lots of maces, couple plate legs, lots of raw food, lots of seeds. Uh, these are a bit skewed. I think I only got like 15 of them. But uh, yeah, lots of kite shields, lots of plate legs. 250k with some spider teleports. Here's 564k from this trip. What did I even get? Huh? Did I just get nothing? You're an extra kill count is 3... I just got nothing. Nah, that can't be common, man. What do you mean I got nothing, bro? I've never not gotten anything, hello? What is the best way to get there? Spider cave teleport. If you don't have that, sepulcher teleport and use the shortcut. If you don't have that, ALQ teleport with your fairy ring. If you don't have that, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And there we go, 350kc done. I do need a little bit of break after this. We got more supplies, not too bad. 323k with three teleports from this trip and more tomorrow. 175k, but we got six teleports and they are still not correct price on the price checker. All the way up to 360kc. Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Noxious point. Wait, that's the second halberd piece, surely, right? 
Nice. We're one step closer to completing the halberd now. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. That's awesome. 486k from this trip with three teleports and another noxious point. Meaning we are now one step closer to finishing the halberd. And we're getting extremely good at the boss. So I'm now taking six or even seven prayer potions for every trip because we take almost no damage. Very long trip later, 605k with three cave teleports. Well, this is a bit skewed and this is a bit skewed, but that's okay. This should be like 150k. Man, I, I don't know what it is about this boss, but I'm actually really enjoying it, especially today. I don't even know why, man. I think it's because I know that I'm very close to a drop. Like, I'm just one piece away from the Hellbird. But also, I feel like we're doing so much better now. So the more I do it, like, the more I like it. It's, like, really odd. At first, I was like, oh, but it's not like a Rax or an RS3. But now I'm like, I genuinely like it. Okay, more teleports. Actually, I think this is probably one of the best drops you can get. You know what I haven't seen in a very long time? Dragon plate legs. I got so many of them day one and I have not seen them in forever. Hmm, that might be the first time I see a Torstall seat as a drop here in 402 KC. Oh, nine! Ah, but that's your trolling. No, the second head. It is an absolute disaster. What do you mean a second head? All right, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. I did not want to receive that. One into 50 for the head. Oh, that could have been a piece then. Ah, uh, okay. Well, now we know the drop rates. So the head is 1 into 50. The halberd piece is 1 in 200. And the fang is 1 in... Hmm, how do I explain this? So is the fang technically 1 in 200 as well? Not really, right? It's like everything is 1 in 600, basically. It's like really weird to explain. Why did I not move there? I don't know. So the fang is 1 in 600. All the noxious pieces are 1 in 600. And the head is 1 into 50, I believe. Let me double check this. Okay, the pet we don't know yet. The jar is 1 in 1,500. So I would actually love to get the jar. Yeah, Fang is 1 in 600 and any of the noxious pieces are 1 in 600 as well, but 3 rolls. So 1 in 200. That makes sense with basically what we've been doing. So we're pretty much on drop rate at the moment for just about anything. 416k and 6 teleports, they're still about 50k each and we also got a head in this trip, we're now over 408 kill count. 420k from this trip plus 300k from the teleports, very nice trip, almost 25 minutes we stayed in the boss room, we're now up to 423 kill count as well. 425k with 3 teleports, so 570k and a couple of venom sex. We also got an elite clue from this one, so pretty good trip. If you do not want to miss future uploads, consider subscribing. Oh my god, I have not seen the dragon plate legs in so long. There they are. They still exist, man. And there we have it. Second task of full Araxites completed. Let's see if we get lucky on the very last kill. No, but let's go ahead and bank and see how many skips it takes us for the third task. 887k with a couple of extra venom sacks as well. Very good. All right, Kuradel, how long will it take? Three rune dragons. There is no way I go ski. I mean, I could just go and kill three dragons, but I'll just skip it. Fuck it. It is what it is. No rune dragons. Skull fights. No. Blue dragons. No. Sukwas. No. Ankus, no. Swiverns, no. Dagonoff, no. Gargoyles, no. Be gentle. Yes, there it is. Araxites. And we still have a ton of points, I think. Yeah, still over 2,600 points. We're gonna be chilling. We're going right back and we got uh, a lot more to do. Very nice. If I were to get pet first, I would be very happy with that, honestly. Because then I don't need to ever sacrifice loot for a pet roll. Also, I would be very happy with the jar. Jar would be phenomenal for me. Because it's technically the rarest of the drops. Okay, after this trip, I need to not forget to buy another blood charm. Why did I just get bark? And why do I think this is extremely rare? Oh, it's 1 in 115. It's an absolute disaster. 520k with 3 teleports and 12 sacks. The boss would be great if the blood shard did not cost 17 million dollars to buy, but it's all for the name of convenience. Okay, watch this. So you step here, you hit, you can step here again, 
You hit. You can step here again. You hit. You see it keeps hitting itself 36. You see 36, 36, 36, it's dead. So start utilizing that with your special attack and you're gonna start getting fast kills. See, that was 110 without spec weapon, basically. I hope that could help a bit. 317k plus 300k in teleports. And we are now up to 485 Arax or KC. Nearly 500, very good. We are now officially halfway done with the video and what we have to show for it is two Araxide heads, one Transmog and two Noxious pieces. We now also know the drop rates, so a drop rate for a Fang is 1 in 600 and a drop rate for any of the Noxious pieces is 1 in 200. So we cannot complain about luck yet until we do 99 more kills and by that time hopefully we have a Fang and hopefully we have a full Noxious Halbert completed. When it comes to the Jar it is 1 in 1500 and when it comes to the pet we don't really know i would assume it's one in three thousand outside of that the loot is pretty solid so we're just gonna keep going and let's do 500 more kills before we do the final price check oh and also this trip was 330k plus 450k on top of that because of this teleport so pretty good trip 540k with a bunch of Kai shields <laughs> yes wait 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 wait, wait. Ah, uh, okay, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's actually good. Ladies and gentlemen, Noxious Pommel. We have now finished the scythe, I mean the, the thingy. Let's go ahead and make it. Okay. It looked like a fang, I'm not gonna lie. It looked like an amulet. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, we have completed one part of the puzzle right now. If we look at the Araxor, we have now basically completed three pieces and also obviously we got the head. Oh, it's pretty exciting. That is pretty exciting. Right, let's uh, price check this very quickly. 345k with the pommel. Let's go ahead and make ourselves the halberd. So the loot tab is starting to look quite nice. Uh, I need to quickly take this blood shard out up to 19.6 million just from the regular drops. Uh, but look at this, how beautiful these three items look together. And if we go ahead and we probably just use them. Do you wish to combine all three pieces to create a noxious halberd? This process is non-reversible. There it is, the animation, and it is created. The noxious halberd from scratch on the account. Absolutely beautiful, right? So this thing goes for uh, a little over 50 million at the moment. I'm pretty sure it, it's bouncing back up. It was down to like 46 mil apparently, but now it's selling over 50 mil again. I don't plan on selling this because we are going to be going for Grandmaster Task and this thing is very useful for a couple of uh, Grandmaster Tasks we basically want to complete in the near future. So for now, we're going to go ahead and move it right over here in our loot tab and we've now made 66 million so all of a sudden the loot that didn't look very good now it's actually looking quite all right to be honest this loot tab is looking all right 432 357 275 998 311k and we're almost at 600 kc and ladies and gentlemen that's kill count 600 from here on out we can officially start complaining that we are unlucky right hopefully we see an amulet anytime soon or a jar or something rare 392k with three teleports which are 50k a pop and a couple of venom sacks as well they are still too expensive on the price checker though finally a trip worth over 1 million dollars for dragon plate legs but not only that 12 spider cave teleports each one of these is still around 50k leaving us with 300k extra so very good trip there i am a little bit of a liar but not that big of a liar it sold for over 40k a pop so very good money third task is now officially completed let's take a look last kill we get some mortmeyer fungus and on top of that we got nearly 300k with six teleports so 300k on top of that and a couple of venom sex and an elite casket let's go ahead and see how many tasks we have to skip for another araxite task cave kraken thing let's see necrios uh oh uh oh uh-oh. 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 Points not looking too hot right now. Ah, oh, beautiful. And not only is this beautiful, I'm also going to change the look of our ugly ass Slayer Helm.
So I'm not quite sure how this works, but if I eventually want a kit on my Ranker amulet, I will need to have this Slayer Helm as well. So let's go ahead and go under the unlocks, I see you, learn how to combine a Rek'Side head with your Slayer Helmet to theme it like a Raxor. 1000 points, we are willing to spend this, it is now unlocked. And with that, we also bought another blood shard, funnily enough, but I can go ahead and make this by using the head on the Slayer Helmet, making it an Arexite Slayer Helmet. And this looks actually really good. I like it. And we have a whole another Arexite task to do right now, which is gonna get me super close to 1000 KC. 741k, a little bit of magic seeds and U seeds adding up to the money there. 750k plus 150k in cave teleports 700kc and we still don't have ranker but the number is looking good 350k from this trip with the three teleports 672k plus an extra 300k from the cave teleport spells 544k with an elite clue scroll 443k and nine teleport scrolls they're about 40k a pop right now the price is finally getting a little bit more up wait what's nine times 40 so 360k on top of this so pretty good trip honestly nah 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 we hate it we absolutely hate this video game i what went like fucking 300 drive for another head man it is an absolute disaster can i like get a fang or can I get like a another halberd or like a jar? But why the third head, my guy? 520k with another Rek'Side head number three, unfortunately. Uh, we're also on 769kc now. So we definitely are getting above the fang drop rate at this point. 588k plus an extra about 300k from the spider teleports. Not a bad trip. KC number 800. I don't know why I wanted to say 100 there, but KC 800. We are now officially unlucky on multiple halberd pieces and a ranker. So, yeah, it just continues. It's just, there seemed to be no end to this. Uh, but hopefully the streak changes soon here. And hopefully we get like an amulet or more halberd pieces or maybe like a jar or maybe like a pet, you know, anything at this point. 360k plus about 300k from the teleports and we're now officially over 800 kill count I hope I see some items soon. I'm starting to slowly lose faith Here's 400k and we're up to 817 kills But also 150k extra from the spider cave teleports 377k plus 300k in teleports And we are nearly done with the 4th task Or is it 5th? I think it's the 4th task 60 kills to go 613k Almost 850 kill count 540k Nah, 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 nah I wanna, I, I wanna cry What is this? <laughs> What is this, my guy, man? Nah. <laughs> it's fine. It's four head, man. Oh. 450k, three teleports. So that's like 150k on top of that. And another head. So, uh, yeah. Um, Araxor so far, uh, not being very lucky. And there it is, another task completed, and unless we get an item here, we actually got super unlucky. Yep, we didn't get it, so 892 kill count, another task done, and we should grab another one, and that one will be enough to finish 1000 KC. And a very nice trip, 1.3 million in profit from this one as well, because of 12 cave teleports, so that is very, very nice. Let's take a look and see how many points we'll have to sacrifice starting on 1.3k. Oh my god, I only had to skip one task. That is so lucky. Okay, I guess we are ready to finish off this video. So, a lot of things have happened since you last saw a clip. My SSD died and I had to reinstall pretty much every single program I had on my computer. And that included me basically remaking all my plugins and everything so if anything is slightly suboptimal i'll obviously work on making it a little bit better in the next few days but three very stressful days later and if we very quickly check at my collection log right now i'm on 892 arax or killed i want to finish 1000 today as you can see we're still missing fang pet and the jar that's obviously the goal you guys should know that 
but I'm also going to utilize another blood shard right now. They're back down to 14 million, so that's pretty helpful. And also, I might start including the profit tracker plugin from here on out, which will track how much profit we're actually making or even losing with all the scythe hitting and blood charges. So let's go ahead and finish the last hundred and a bit kills and uh, see if we get lucky with a fang. Nah, 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 nah. No, the fifth head, the fifth head. No, man, I just came back, man. My PC is finally working again. And I get another head. Where's my fang? Where's my pet? Where's my jar, man? I'm getting nothing. Noxious pieces. Give me something useful, please. And this is the one of the updates that also happened while my PC wasn't working. You now get noted loot, so noted uh, room plate legs there. Uh, that is definitely new. And also the spider now deals less damage to itself when you step under during the enrage phase. So a couple of changes while I was gone. 260k, but now I want to do a little test because I haven't gotten a chance to play for a while. What I want to do is I want to sell the spider cave teleports and I want to sell the venom sex and see where the prices are at right now. They're definitely a little bit lower to where we started. It still sells for good. 40,000 each for spider cave teleports still. So this is still basically the best drop you can get. And let's also take a look at the araxite sex. That's probably pretty low. That's also not the worst, right? It doesn't seem to be the worst. They sell for 2.5k each, so still money to be made with just regular drops as well, not bad. I think this might be the very first time we get a papaya tree seed out of this boss. In 919kc, I don't even want to know how rare that is. 500k if we include the spider cave teleports and the 1 in 2000 papaya tree seeds from this trip alone. It, it exists, bro. It exists. The Fang. Oh, my, I'm so happy. You guys have no idea I'm getting out of here. Oh, my. 932. I thought this loot video would be an absolute disaster, but it exists, brother, man. And now we're gonna pull a back-to-back. -back. If you guys don't know, the Ranker Amulet is going up in price again. I believe it's like 90 million right now. I'm not gonna sell it. I said it. I'm gonna use my Blood Fury until we pull it. We're gonna grab a Torture and we're gonna make it. I can't even, like, spell that's how happy I am. I have been waiting for this moment for many, many hours. But here it is, a Rexite Fang, Amulet of Torture. Actually, do we go ahead and just uh, look at the difference? I mean, everybody knows by now, but we might as well do it for the video. So let me just go ahead and bank everything real quick. I didn't even price check this, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It was like 400k probably. All right, so let's take a look. Going from plus 15s across the board, 10 milli strength and 2 prayer to adding... The Fang and a beautiful animation. Dude, it's so cool, bro. It is so cool. Whoever made this animation, it is smooth, man. There it is. A lot of XP and a lot of money made. Look at the profit tracker going crazy. 68 million made. And obviously moving on to 25 across the board and also 12 milli strength and 2 prayer. Absolutely beautiful amulet. I don't plan on selling. However, if we were to sell it, the profit is very good right now. It goes for 90 mil right now. I'm gonna utilize it. If I get another, I'm selling all the duplicates, but this is a beautiful one. So now, the only thing that's left is for us to get a pet and a jar and then we can kid this up as well. So now that we have a Ranker Amulet for the first trip, I did come here with a Blood Fury still, but in the future, the play is to ditch the Elder Maul and bring the Ancient God Swords back. Now that we get a lot of death charges, a lot easier, it will probably keep me sustained a lot and we're gonna have the max DPS output as well. So the Elder Maul will go in the bin, the Ancient God Sword will be out and the hits are beautiful. I'm loving this amulet, man. <gasps> I'm gonna die. Oh my, I thought that would kill me. <laughs> 100k, but I'm keeping this trip very short simply due to the fact that I want to utilize the Ancient God Sword and I want to test this out without basically needing Blood Fury. So let's go ahead, change the gear around a little bit and see how it feels. All right, a little bit of an update. Ancient God Sword is absolutely goated when you're doing this in like a very good gear. Now, in theory, probably it would be better if I switch to Inquisitor now that I don't have Elder Maul anymore. Uh, but honestly, the difference might be so small that it legit does not matter. But I feel like I could legit have no food on me and this would just keep me up. Almost a guaranteed 25 heal every single kill, sometimes even two a kill. It is just great, honestly. So this setup, probably my favorite at the moment. 
All right, 9-5-2 KC, and the conclusion is, honestly, Ancient Godsword in this gear is so good. Like, full trip, as you can see, 25 minutes, all the pots used, all the food used, and I don't need to spend extra money on the Blood Fury charges. So, very happy to have this drop available, and this trip in itself is once again worth... 400k plus 6 teleports, so realistically 640k. Good trips right now. 413k plus 360k from the cave teleports, very decent trip yet again. Nah, nah, what is this? I just got an uncut emerald. This is the very first time I see Dries drop in 973 KC. An uncut emerald. 1 in 5888. Rarer than two pets, man. Not my best trip, I'll be honest, 100k. And a very unlucky uncut emerald, wow, alright. 568k plus 120k in teleports. And we are just 9 kills away from being done. Let's see if we can get lucky on the last 9 kills. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The loot from 1000 Araxor. We got cave teleports, not too bad, honestly. 454k with 6 teleports, which is 6 times 40k. Honestly, my calculations are not ideal when it comes to that. But let's take a look at the loot tab right now. Before we go ahead and we start price checking anything, the first thing I want to mention is we got exactly 234 teleports, which after selling them on the GE, we easily made over 12 million coins. Most of them were sold for around 100k at first, then 80k, then 60k, then 50k. Right now, these teleports are 40k on the Grand Exchange. Secondly, I very quickly want to showcase my uh, log. I was not on drop rate. When you get 1200 KC, you should expect two full halberds and two full fangs to be dropped. However, I only got one fang and one halberd with no duplicate pieces. So definitely a little bit unlucky there. So let's say if I were to keep going, maybe I would get a little bit luckier. However, I've been saving all of the drops in my bank from the start of the Araxor journey. And it is time to price check this absolute monstrosity that is in my inventory without any uniques. Now, the couple of things that stand out immediately are the Torstall Seed, Papaya Tree Seed, two Uncut Emeralds and one Dragonstone. Torstall Seed being 1 in 1307. Papaya Tree Seed being a 1 in 2054 drop. Uncut Emerald being 1 in 5088. This is rarer than a pet and I got two of them, which is very surprising. And Dragonstone being a 1 in 7360, rarer than 2 pets, basically. So these drops here are absolutely ridiculously rare, all basically rarer than a pet, pretty much. So that's kind of interesting, worth 20k. Everything else, we're just gonna go ahead and dump everything in. 33 million dollars from the lootation. Let's take a look what's worth the most. Obviously, the teleports are scuffed. These should be 234 of them, and these would be worth 12 million on top of that. Wines of Zamorak, 300k. Antidotes, 800k almost. Mudruns are 150. Adamant ores, 2.5 million. Some bark for absolutely no profit. Some fungus for 265k. Some red spider's eggs for 200k. Rune kite shields, a ton of those for 5. 6 million earth orbs for 1.8 million a lot of dragon maces for 2.5 16 dragon plate legs for 2.5 as well a bunch of room plate legs for 6.2 million these add up to a lot of money magic seeds 1.6 million a lot worth here runite or 2.6 mil runite two hander sword 2.3 million in those a bunch of usage for 1 million, a lot of Toad Flexit for 125k, Raw Sharks for over a million, Raw Monkfish for a little bit over 100k, a lot of Renar Seeds for 730k, and Snapdragons for 300k. So, add on 12 million to that, that is easily 45 million in just basic loot, okay? So, 45 mil, but now, the special... Halbert and Ranker. Not to mention, we got five Rexine heads, we turned one of them into the Slayer Helmet, and if you're wondering what the Congulated Venom is, that is basically a speed kill in order for you to get a pet Transmog. Now, I don't have a pet yet, unfortunately, however, I will most likely be going for it. But now, the Uniques. 45 million plus Amulet of Rancor shows 80 million, it's currently selling for over 90 million, okay? So... 
trust me on this one, 90 million ranker. However, 90 minus 18. So 78 million straight profit from the amulet. Obviously, we needed to sacrifice torture to make it. And torture is about 18 million and ranker at the moment sells for over 90 million. However, where we lose money is the noxious halberd. It is worth absolute pennies at the moment, unfortunately. It is currently selling for only 30 million. So in total, with all the loot, with all the uniques, without being lucky, I have made 153 million from all the drops. However, however, I've been using blood shards, okay? I've been using blood shards and scythe. So it's safe to say we lost a little bit of money and we lost four blood shards. After I got the ranker, I started using uh, the amulet of ranker. So with blood shards, I think it's safe to say I lost approximately 60 million just from the blood shards alone. But obviously, if you're not using the blood shard yourself, you can easily add plus 60 mil to my total profit right here. And that's probably what you can expect from doing the boss a lot. And lastly, you may be wondering how long did it take me to get 1000 kills? Well, if we were pretty efficient at killing the boss, we would probably get around 40 kills an hour. That makes the calculation somewhat simple and the 1000 kills would take me about 25 hours of somewhat efficiently killing the boss. Now, if we never got any uniques, you could expect about 1.8 million GP an hour from just regular loot table drops. But with the loot and uniques that we got in 25 hours, we received 6.1 million GP per hour if you do not count in the blood shards, utilization of scythe charges and supplies. So realistically, it was more a 5 million per hour method at the point where we started using the ranker amulet. So all in all, the boss was extremely fun to grind. The mechanics are simple, but pretty rewarding. My personal favorite being the exploding spider. You can create some really cool situations with it alongside the step under method for Araxer to kill itself. I will most likely be returning to Araxer to finish off the pet after we get the Grandmaster combat achievements for the boss. And I really do hope this video maybe motivates some of you guys to get out of there and give Araxor a shot. It has been an absolute pleasure having all of you here till the very end. Have a beautiful rest of your day and bye bye. <laughs>